Welcome to this setup video for Beyond Divinity on Linux. Specifically for me, uh, Solus 4.3 Plasma Edition. So I'm going to start off with one quick thing that may apply to pretty much anybody running uh, KDE Plasma as your desktop of choice. So what we're using is to do this is play on Linux. And to get this working, if you install Play on Linux on KDE, there's a possibility that your fonts are going to be very small and hard to read because it's a GTK application and not a QT application. So in my home directory, I made this file by the name of .xdefaults. And I added this line right here, xft.dpi colon space 96. You can use whatever text editor to, you want to do or uh, you know, just touch to create the file in your home directory. Log off and log back in and you should be good to go as far as the look of Play on Linux. Now originally I tried installing this on uh, Mini Galaxy, which uh, Mini Galaxy worked just great for Divine Divinity, but when trying to set it up beyond Divinity, what it would do, it would, it would set everything up just fine, but then the uh, game, when it launched, it would have all sorts of errors. Uh, the colors were extremely washed out. When I say washed out, it just wasn't, it wasn't displaying right, and when you would exit the game, it would crash. And so even hitting, like, escape to go back to the menu would crash everything. It was just very buggy. It didn't work very good. So before I get into Play on Linux, I'm going to bring up this web page here. And I'm going to throw this in my uh, description for you all. But I started following this guy from Gamers on Linux to get things up and running. Now the problem is, much like Beyond Divinity, I believe this guide is also very old. And so one of the things it starts off is telling you to download Wine 1.6.2 or 1.8 staging. And that just wouldn't work for me here. Uh, so basically what I'm going to do is going to start up right here on the play on Linux setup. And this did appear to work for me doing it this way, using the native wine that was on my system at the point of this video 6.22. So anyway, let's get into installing this real quick. It's actually not that difficult. So you just click on install a program, install non-listed program. I mean, I guess I could say, don't remind me of this, but if you, these two pop ups for the beginning, just click next to get through them. All right, here we go. A lot of clicking next. And then we're going to install to a new virtual drive. And just like the guy says, we'll, we'll go ahead and uh, call it Beyond Divinity. Keep things the same as the guy for the most part. Click all three of these boxes and then just say system. All right, and this may be the reason why doing it in Mini Galaxy failed for me, because you have to select a 32-bit window installation. Click it on next. Okay, so as you can see now, it's popped up a wine configuration for this virtual drive. Now it says to use Windows 7. You know, you know what? Um, yeah, I'm going to drop it down to Windows XP just because this game was originally designed for Windows XP and so that's what I'm going to keep it on. And under here you just check all four of these boxes and you could either set this to be the desktop size that you want to use or you could even set it to 1024 by 768. So I'm just going to set it to 1280 by 720 because that's basically I'm going to run it in 720p. Y, K, all right, so now it has some options to install real quick, and you can click on all of them here at the beginning. Let's see here. All right, so the first one you want to do is this POL install D3D X9 for DirectX 9. Scroll down just a little more. Oh, you know what? I skipped one. Install the core fonts as well. Let's see here, GDI Plus. 
and last, possibly least, Tahoma. All right, so now it's going to download and install all these different options. Okay, well, that's pretty quick. It, it was probably pretty quick because I've already downloaded these for my first install of it, and so therefore it already had it in memory. So I just hit Browse, and so I just put it here in my Downloads directory. And if you're downloading from um, GOG, you have the executable and the bin file. So you just select the executable, hit Open. Of course I read your end user agreement. Why wouldn't I? All right, so now it's going to install the game and I'll be back with y'all momentarily. All right, welcome back. It took a little while to install and uh, but that's fine. So we'll just go ahead and hit exit next. And this virtual desktop should shut down. There we go, and we want to make a couple of uh, shortcuts. First, we're going to do div, which is the actual game itself. We'll actually just rename it, the shortcut that is. All right. And then we will add the config tool. You can really call this anything you want. I'm just actually just keeping the same names that they have there in the guide for ease of uh, reference. And then just say, I don't want to make another shortcut. All right, so here we are. The game is now basically installed. So you got to do a couple of things before you get going. First, we're going to hit configure. So it's using the, the system Wine version. That's perfectly fine. But then we got to go here to the video memory size and change that to uh, two gigs, basically. All right, all good to go. All right, so now we're going to run the BD config. All right, set it to 720p, four times FSAA, and just to Go ahead and do proof of concept. We'll hit test. That's pretty good to me. All right. And then hit apply and close. There you have it. The game loads up and it looks fine. So this was definitely something that was like basically this whole background here was like green, yellow, almost looked like a like a Windows in safe mode kind of screen. It just looked absolutely horrible before. So if you set your desktop resolution to match the virtual desktop, everything should work just fine and be full screen and be what you want to actually see the game. You see here the characters look all good and everything, but I'll play with that later. Now, I did run this in a 1080p mode to match my desktop environment, but this game, much like Divine Divinity, if you take the resolution too high, things get a little bit too small and hard to read, basically. Quit out of this. All right. But... Yeah, you could basically run it at a multitude of different resolutions, whatever matches your monitor, so that you get that nice full screen look. But anyway, that's how I got uh, Beyond Divinity up and running on my system. I don't know how stable it's going to be or you know, how well the game is going to play, but at least now I know it will play. Because <laughs> it wasn't doing that before, there's just way too many errors. And I believe it's because it set it up as a 64-bit installation. Anyway, that'll do it for this video. 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.